Hello everybody and welcome to your first tutorial on learning how to program using C++. Now uh, my aim is to make the, this tutorial series as easy as possible. I made uh, over 300 videos or 300 videos up till now and uh, I've gotten a lot of positive feedback etc etc so th they, this tutorial series should be really 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 easy so I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial series. Now, a uh, little background on what I've done in case you haven't been subscribed to me. I have made a previous C++ uh, Made Easy tutorial series, uh, but I, there were only 27 videos and, I mean, no, sorry, 17 videos, and the, it was, the quality's really bad. That's when I made my channel. I had a mic from like, the dollar store. It was, it was really, really bad quality. So anyways, this is going to be better quality. It's going to be a full tutorial series set. So hopefully you enjoy it. Now, uh, the reason why I'm showing you my website, codemadeeasy.ca, is because you're probably watching this either because you're a beginner or you're trying to review some C++. So you might, you're probably going to have a lot of questions. So on my website, I have a community. To create, you need an account. So to create an account, you'd go to login, and it will say something like create an account or something in the bottom. And what you would do is you'll go to community, you say new topic, and you would post a topic, and we would help you out. Okay, uh, I and some other people will help you out. Okay, and I, I post the tutorials on here, and I will be posting source code as well. So if you don't um, know the source code, and uh, yeah, so. Um, to begin this tutorial, what we need to uh, the what we need to start off by saying is that we need to download something called the IDE, which is the Integrated Integrated Development Environment. And what that is, it it comes with the uh, um everything you need to program the text editor, the linkers, uh, the compilers, debuggers, everything, right? And I know you don't, uh, you might not know um, all those things. Well, basically, a text editor is something like Notepad, uh, anything, anything you can write text in, right? We can write uh, C plus plus code in Notepad, right? But nothing would happen because we need to um, compile it, which means uh, changing it from human readable code to machine readable code, uh, something that the computer can recognize, and therefore it will run your code, right? With other compiler you cannot run C++ code okay so we uh, what we what it comes with it comes with a compiler and a debugger a, de a debugger is something uh, if you ever heard like uh, oh, there's a lot of bugs in this program blah 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 uh, that's what a debugger does it debugs your program so it kind of helps you to locate errors in your code where you can improve in your code uh, it tells you where there's errors, what line numbers the errors are on, etc., etc. It kind of helps. It helps speed up the the coding process, and we will be learning about debuggers, etc., etc. And linkers are uh, and all that stuff. Um, those are like if you're using other APIs and like uh, Direct 3D, OpenGL, SML, Allegro, etc., etc. Uh, so. Uh, without further ado, uh, instead of me talking about uh, IDEs uh, all day, uh, we should get into actually downloading one. Now there is there are two main IDEs uh, in in C plus plus. The two, no, the no, the, there were, there's a lot of different ones. There's like uh, the Dev C plus plus, Code Blocks, uh, Visual Studio. Uh, there is. Um, I don't remember that. There's one. There's one that's really old, but a lot of people still use it. And there's there's hundreds probably of different C++ compilers. But the two main ones I would recommend is Code Blocks or Visual Studio. One, well, or if you're using Mac, I would say use Xcode, right? Well, if you're using Windows. If you if you're using Windows, then uh, I would say the number one is uh, Visual Studio, seconded by Code Blocks. Now, why do I recommend these two? Well, firstly, uh, Visual uh, Visual Studio is made by Microsoft. Whether you hate Microsoft, whether you love them or not, uh, you know that Microsoft is going to update it every year. It's an up-to-date uh, IDE. You will never have to worry about it not being updated. It's an update, up-to-date uh, IDE. Come it comes fully functional. 
the only thing is that it, it it's it looks it's on the professional side right so it is made uh by professionals for professionals uh but a beginner can use it you know what i mean it's just that a lot of the functionality it has inside of it you're probably not going to use so for now the second one is code blocks it, it's a more the code blocks is updated it's up to date it's more it's it's use, it's more user friendly more beginner friendly i would say it has a lot of stuff in there built in to help you guys, to help you out etc etc another common one that people love to use is dev c++ if they ever tell you to use dev c++ tell them to go away just tell them to stop talking dev c++ uh is outdated it's it's old right and although you can still program some of the same things that it um that you can in visual studio and code blocks some of the code style is changed out with updated c++ etc etc uh maybe if you're doing like um enums or something the way they uh the way you use them might be different than code blocks or uh visual studio and if you don't know what the enum is don't don't worry but basically Dev C++ plus plus is out of date. Like I know with the Dev packs, it makes installing APIs much easier and such. But you you learn you lose a whole learning curve when you do all that stuff. And and trust me, you don't want to use anything out of date. When it comes to programming, you always want the most recent thing because technology advances every single day. If you don't have the latest, if you don't code for the latest technology, you're gonna be left behind. So always do the best technology. So first of all. Visual Studio has a paid version and a free version. The free version is Express Editions, and uh, I I have a full version of Visual Studio. But uh, for you guys, what you'll need is Visual Studio uh, uh, C plus plus Express Edition, and uh, uh, the one the, the the big downside is that with Visual C plus plus it's really it's really big. It's a really big file. Um, so if you don't have knowledge base in your computer, don't download it. So you can click by installing now, or you could select the, uh, you could select the language right here if your native language is not English, etc., etc. So the next one we're gonna look for is code colon colon blocks, and we can just go to the downloads page, and uh, we would say download the binary release and then we would um, install it and run it etc etc so before I end this tutorial we're not gonna write any code I'm just gonna show you what they look like so this is Visual Studio once you open it up uh, or Visual C++ uh, when you open it up on me well, we're gonna be creating a new project in here and for code blocks when you open it up you get this and you get and you can set a new project etc etc by clicking right here as well so uh that is it for this tutorial in the next tutorial we're actually going to start writing some code we're going to be learning about the structure of c++ code and how it's run how it's run and everything so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial thanks for watching and bye